Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little video here where I am going to the benchmark test here uh, with the new software here on my iPhone 5 here, the iOS 7 Beta 5, which I've been already been going over in one review. Uh, and then of course Android Phone 3 here on my Galaxy S4. So I'm just going to go here to the app that we'll be trying out. First we'll be checking out the benchmark scores in an app called Geekbench here. So you don't know if that was. So of course the Access 4 has better internal specs overall. Let's see here, so almost double the score here in, in this first little test. And mainly it's of course the CPU that's quad core, uh, four cores is in the S4 versus only two cores in the iPhone 5. If we check out Ant2, let's see here if we can find it, which is more like a 3D testing benchmark app. And you can see here that it looks a little bit random here when you don't see any guy uh, walking around inside of the the Alex S4 with down to 4.3 but it still seems like it's working perfectly because you do get a score at the end Okay, so we're gonna score 12,034 here on the iPhone, uh, and then only scored 7,617 on the Galaxy S4. But of course, the Galaxy S4 has a 1080p display, which mean which means that it has to render more pixels. But we can see in this off-screen test that I did before uh, with same resolution, 1024 times 2048, um, I got to score 2,438. Uh, inside of the S4 and then uh, 2552 so a little bit higher here inside of the iPhone 5 with the PowerVR SGX543 GPU versus the Qcom Adreno 320 GPU inside of the Galaxy S4 so seems like the GPU could be very very identical uh, if not just a little bit better uh, than the GPU that you do get in Android but then the CPU of course in Android is better than the one that you will get in iPhone.